Hey guys, welcome. My name is ML. So this will be our third video in the series. Today we'll be looking at the move steering function and the move time function. So let's have a look at them individually. So the first thing that you will notice is the icon over here. So for the move steering, you have a specific steer function which allows you to choose if you want the robot to turn right or you want it to turn left. So notice that if you adjust it to left, it will have a negative value. And if you point it to the right, it will have a positive value. So obviously this is only applicable if this is your left your left port and this is your right port. So make sure that your wire your port is correct. So if your robot's left motor is A and your robot's right motor is connected to the D, then make sure this is how it's this is how it will set. If you put it this way, then everything will be inverted. So same thing applies here. Off basically means that it will off both port A and D motor will stop moving. On it means that your robot will move will constantly move until a condition is met. On for seconds, degrees and rotations. So how much you want your robot to turn or how much you want it to steer will depend on the power. So maximum would be 100 and the least amount would be 1 I believe. Okay, which is very very low. It's almost negligible. So move tank. Everything is the same except that you can adjust both the left motor power and the right motor power individually. So what this allows us to do is let's say if I have my left motor is port B and my right motor is port C I adjust the right motor to minus 50. So this means that the robot will stay on that spot and it will make a very sharp it will make a rotation, a left rotation on that specific spot. Whereas where if you use this function over here, if you use move steering, let's say if I just 20 for example, 30. So my robot will go forward and it will start making a curve. But if I were to use this specific move tank function, my robot would stay there in that specific spot spot and make the turn without moving forward. So it depends on what you want your robot to do. So the parameters, the rest of the parameters are the same. Off, on, on for seconds, degrees rotation and obviously you can select to break at the end or to coast depending on what task that your robots are designed for. So that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.